Hello, this is Frank Mealy from HeartlandDiaryUSA.com, bringing you news every conservative can use. Subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay up to date. In a truth, the Stranger Than Fiction episode, Pete Hegseth of Fox News has been banned from Twitter for posting the hate-filled anti-American manifesto of the Pensacola killer from Saudi Arabia. He said that America was a nation of evil. Well, he may be right. Twitter has banned Hegseth as promoting terrorism when what he's actually doing is letting America know what they're up against when terrorists are allowed into our country. Listen to him talk to Tucker Carlson and uh, be prepared. As he says, if it could happen to him, it could happen to anyone. Pete Hegseth was booted off Twitter for sharing a portion of the Pensacola attacker's manifesto in which he cited radical Islam as his motive. Twitter has defended suspending Hegseth Apparently, suspension was for violating company rules against threatening or promoting terrorism. Did Pete Hegseth promote terrorism? He joins us now to explain <laughs> it, Pete. So this seems like an hey, I don't understand this explanation, actually. Well, neither do I. I simply posted the words of the terrorist who killed three Americans in a terrorist attack. Yet I'm violating the Twitter policy on terrorism, uh, and therefore I and banned. Listen, if we live in a country where we can't know why the people the, the people who attack us and why they do us, th why they did it, why are we here? Well, yes, why do we have a First right. Amendment? Exactly. And I'm hosting a news program, posting this information. Listen, I don't play the veteran card, Tucker. I really don't. But I served in Iraq and Afghanistan. I guarded these guys at Guantanamo Bay. I know what they want to do to us. And if we can't share that with the American people, their true motivations, hatred for America, hatred for Israel, Guantanamo Bay is a gulag, then, then we're going to get the false narrative of the PC folks from Silicon Valley every single day of the week. And they've banned me. And if they'll ban me, they'll ban anybody. Well, that's exactly right. And think of the people they are banning who don't have access to a platform like this one. So are you banned now? What is, yes. what is the status as of right now? So they want me, they've told me if I delete my, if I delete the tweet, then I can go back on the platform. But if I don't, then I'm gone. Of course, I'm not going to delete the tweet. The delete, the tweet was simply sharing the manifesto and, and exposing the motives of this terrorist. Uh, and it, if, if I don't do that, then I don't get to tweet anymore. Uh, and you're, you're so right, Tucker. It's not the people uh, who have a profile. It's the thousands tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of Americans who share stuff about radical Islam, yes. uh, which, is, which is taboo, who are blocked every single day. I mean, Silicon Valley is in bed with, with, uh, with, with defending, under the guise of defending against Islamophobia, anyone who exposes the things that radical Islam is doing. That's what I ran up against here. That's Meanwhile, there's, there's literally no limit to the things you can say about Christianity or Christians and remain on the platform. Endless. And the double standard, everyone knows it. It's there. It's blatant. Thank you for pointing it out once again. Pete Hexeff, keep us updated. I hope you will. We'll keep fighting. You got it, Tucker. Thank you.